Hey there, movie trivia fans. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the Marvel Cinematic Universe's latest sensation, Echo. But before we get into the series, let's rewind the clock and explore the gripping backstory of one of Marvel's most iconic villains, Wilson Fisk, better known as the Kingpin. Wilson Fisk, famously known as the Kingpin, is making an impactful return in Marvel Studios' Echo, following the intense events of the Hawkeye season finale, where Echo confronted him on the streets and shot him. But hold on, we'll dive deeper into that moment shortly. If you haven't delved into the Daredevil Netflix series, and your only glimpse of Fisk is from Hawkeye, you might be curious about the hype. Let's unravel the entire saga of Kingpin and touch on the Daredevil storyline. Let's rewind and recap the intricate story of Kingpin, connecting the dots from his childhood to the flashbacks with Echo and exploring what lies ahead for this formidable villain. Wilson Fisk's troubled upbringing in an abusive household, marked by his father's brutality, molded him into a man fueled by rage and revenge. His first glimpse into the Kingpin's rage occurred when, as a young boy, he took a hammer to his father, ending his abusive reign. This act set the stage for Fisk's complex character. This was our first glimpse into the Kingpin's rage that was fostered by his father. After Fisk killed his father, his mum sent him to live on a farm with family. After that, Fisk moved to Asia. When Fisk returned to New York City, he began building his criminal empire. He partnered with a man named William Lopez, Maya Lopez's father. Now, Fisk and Maya became close. After the Battle of New York, the kingpin was determined to not only rebuild his empire, but also Hell's Kitchen as well. But his plan included making the city crumble even more so he could come out as a savior. He founded Union Allied Construction, which gathered many government contracts. Still, this company also acted as a cover for Fisk's criminal activities throughout the city. His illegal operation was at risk of being exposed when Karen Page uncovered the truth about Union Allied. She shared this information with a Union Allied employee named Daniel Pfizer. In response, Fisk had Pfizer killed and framed Karen for the murder. Amidst the chaos surrounding Karen Page's predicament, two formidable lawyers stepped forward to defend her, Foggy Nelson and Matthew Murdoch of Nelson and Murdoch. This dynamic legal duo took on Karen as their very first client, demonstrating their commitment to justice and the pursuit of truth. However, Matt Murdoch, more than just a skilled attorney, harbored a secret identity as the vigilante Daredevil. Juggling his roles as a lawyer and crime fighter, Daredevil delved into the shadows to uncover evidence exposing the corruption within Union Allied. His relentless pursuit of justice led him to obtain crucial information, which he then delivered to Ben Urick, an investigative journalist at the New York Bulletin. Through the collaboration of legal acumen and Daredevil's vigilant efforts, the truth about Union Allied's illicit activities was brought to light. Fisk would later visit an art gallery where he would meet his beloved Vanessa. Not only was Fisk taken in by the beauty of Vanessa, but he was also captivated by a white painting that resembled the white wall his father made him stare at when he was a young boy. Fisk finally worked up the courage to ask Vanessa on a date. Fisk didn't want Vanessa to know about his business dealings, 
and his connection to crime. Then a Russian dude just came in and embarrassed him. This began Fisk's war with the Russian mafia. Now, Mr. Potter, I'll need a new suit. What about this? Take what's left of him and send it to his brother. It'll start a war. I'm counting on it. For the Kingpin. Vanessa and Wilson's relationship is strained by the war, but she convinces him to tell her the truth about his criminal enterprise. Despite these dark revelations, Vanessa decides to maintain her romantic relationship with the Kingpin. Fisk then begins playing both sides of the fight and uses his own violent actions to rally support around him and against Daredevil. Then came the long-awaited meeting of Hell's Kitchen's two titans. Matt Murdock visits Vanessa's art gallery and comes face to face with Fisk. As the battle with both Matt Murdock and Daredevil begins to break down the stronghold that was the Fisk criminal empire, a lot of people surrounding the situation get hurt. Vanessa is poisoned by Kingpin's business partner, Leland Oli. Later, Kingpin finds out that it was Leland and kills him. Karen is abducted by Kingpin's right-hand man, Wesley. So, Karen ends up killing Wesley to escape. Ben Urick, who had been assisting Karen in trying to defeat Kingpin in the court of public opinion, was viciously strangled by Fisk when he found out that they questioned his elderly mother. A dirty cop named Carl Hoffman finally told the truth about Kingpin's criminal enterprise, and Wilson was promptly arrested. As we conclude part one of Wilson Fisk's story, don't miss part two for the aftermath of Daredevil's Clash and the Kingpin's return in Hawkeye and Echo. Subscribe and stay tuned for more Marvel updates. Exciting times ahead. Stay superhero savvy.